Um, yeah, we are part of the young uh, uh, publishing houses, and this year is our uh, 70th uh, anniversary. L like um, Ulrike said before, they had their anniversary last year. We will celebrate it in August, so if anybody is uh, in the 5th of August in Berlin, please don't hesitate uh, to contact me. Uh, you're uh, happily invited to join our big fest in Moritzplatz in Kreuzberg, Berlin. Very nice place and uh, hopefully a very nice uh, party. Um, the Aufbau Verlag is, uh, was or is called um, or has been called the Zurkamp uh, of the East. Zurkamp has been the literary um, publishing house in Germany after uh, the Second World War. And um, Aufbau is an East German uh, publisher and was the kind of more progressive uh, East German publisher. So we had uh, authors like um, Christa Wolf, of course, but um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, for instance, was published at Aufbau, um, Thomas Mann, uh, Heinrich Mann, um, all the like new authors that we could get through censorship would have been published uh, at Aufbau during these uh, years of uh, East German, uh, German Democratic Republic. And um, until 1990, of course, we all know uh, things changed, so uh, we had to deal with the uh, uh, with the issue of uh, adapt to a market, uh, which meant cutting down <laughs> our uh, department from our, our publishing house from 250 people uh, to now uh, 25 people that are still working there. Um, we do all together, only at Aufbau in hardcover, uh, we do together 40 titles um, per year and uh, 10 titles at Blumenbar. I'm mostly uh, uh, responsible for the Blumenbar side, but uh, I will occupy my, myself um, more and more also for titles at Aufbau. Uh, Blumenbar was an independent publisher from Munich, uh, founded in 2001. They were kind of the first, I mean, uh, Michael Zollner will uh, contradict me, but they invented in, in, in some way the, the idea of an independent publisher. They had a very special uh, way of uh, of, of design, of communication, of uh, combining uh, parties and um, uh, and literature a little bit like I heard before the uh, the people around the, the magazine, the magazine, the magazine uh, in Amsterdam uh, do today. And um, yeah, um, very important books after 1990 were uh, Mark Twain, Hans Valada and Fred Vargas which we don't have anymore since uh, one week. And um, yeah, I did it before. <laughs> so, um, and for Aufbau, it was always very important to focus on very literary uh, things, but basically our strategy is not so uh, different from the other publishers we've seen today. We have to find a mixture between very literary titles and uh, literary upmarket things that sell well to uh, make publishing possible. So let's come to the two very important books, one of Aufbau and one of Blumenbar. And of course, I've just chosen the, the one everybody would know. Is uh, This is Hans Fallada, um, the modern classic, I've uh, called it. Um, it's considered uh, the first book um, by a German author writing about German uh, uh, resistance uh, against Hitler. Um, it was written, of course, in 1947. Um, but, and we always had it, uh, it was always available in our list, but uh, because of the American edition 2009, there was a giant uh, renaissance of, uh, of this title and of this author, and um, every American and German uh, that comes to Berlin to live there, um, I live one year in Berlin and uh, find myself a year, they all carry these books with them, and that's also why uh, the English, uh, the Great Britain uh, publishers um, call it alone in Berlin. And um, we did a new edition in 2011, uh, reinserting um, segments that have had been cut out because of censorship and that we found in a typescript uh, in the archives. And <clears throat> yeah, a European translation followed the new, the new version, our version. The American version was, or was still the old version, but still sold very well. And uh, yeah, in Great Britain, it sold 700,000 copies. We sold 500,000 copies. So this was our most important uh, book. And uh, just a notice, it was the only and first number one uh, bestseller in Israel because of the topic, of course, and because of the way Hans Fallada manages um, to show at, 
on the one hand that there was resistance, but on the other hand, not telling that uh, the German people were not responsible. They were responsible, and uh, yeah, Hans Fallada found a very unique way to describe this very situation uh, uh, among German people. And now we come to um, my first book. Um, I joined uh, Aufbau in 2012, and the very first book I was uh, working on was uh, this one uh, by a debut, a German debut by Monika Zeiner, and uh, yeah, very surprisingly for our small and just relaunched um, uh, imprint, um, we relaunched uh, Blumenbar in 2013, and um, yeah, came directly on the on the long list and then on the short list of the German Book Prize, and it's a very literary novel on the one hand, and has not the classical uh, debut tone. It's not sharp and edgy, but it has a very classical voice, but still telling the, the years, uh, the Berlin years of the kind of bohème in the time when Berlin was like a united city that didn't know what it should become. And it was kind of a bubble where you can't live following your dreams, doing your art, and nobody cared if anybody listened to it or uh, if you knew where you could buy your bread from. So um, the topic is very modern, but the way she treats it is very classical. So this what was what ma made it very appealing to me and made it so original that I, I, I thought it would ver fit very well the Blumenbar list. And yeah, it uh, was on uh, those, because it was, was chosen for the uh, short list as the only debut in this, this year's uh, short list. Um, she got a, a lot of media attention, of course, and uh, we saw it very well for our standards. And uh, yeah, we are very happy with it. And we are uh, waiting for her uh, second novel right now. Um, Blue and Bar also does uh, um, um, huge coffee table uh, picture books um, by uh, about very famous uh, international or German bands. Like we had one huge book, the biggest and most comprehensive book about Die Mode in 2013, which, which uh, did very well. And we have, will have one, which I am particularly very proud of, about uh, a German band that you wouldn't know. It's called Tokotronic, and they are kind of the... Uh, subcultural indie stars, but still selling very, very many uh, um, CDs that have shaped the whole indie music scene for now 20 years. And yeah, we will bring out the first uh, comprehensive book where the, the, um, the band also uh, cooperates in writing, um, in writing the book and the, the whatever the, the subscriptions to all the different things. Um, we show there in the pictures. Yeah, for me, very interesting, and um, yeah, for a small imprint like us, very important and very nice that we can have them. Um, that was it, and uh, yeah, I have to go to the bathroom because I couldn't resist um, the very nice Belgium beer uh, that you have offered there. So uh, I will thank you very much, and uh, yeah, thank you for having us. <laughs>